I'd like to start this review by just saying I don't think that containment as a whole is worth watching in its entirety. And uh, reasons for that will become very apparent once I actually dig into the meat and bones of this review. That being said, there are a lot of good parts, I feel, but whether they're worth slogging through all the bullshit is up to you. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but I think the very first episode of this series is really good. It's a good, great start to it. It has great dramatic irony. It starts 13 days ahead of where that episode actually starts. It shows nothing is going well for anyone. You watch the episode and it's like, oh, everything's fine. Uh-oh, looks like there's a disease. Then it, at the end of the episode, boom, it cuts back to all these people just getting mercilessly awfulized. That isn't even a real word. So hey, it starts off on a great foot. What does it do now? It face plants immediately. Every episode after that point just becomes the same repetitive slog. You have these characters in different situations. I say different, but each episode it's the same thing. You have Lex, who's like the no-nonsense, middle-of-the-road cop. He's trying to do what's best for everyone, and he's also trying to, like, just figure out, oh, there, there's a conspiracy, but I also have to get my girlfriend out because I was gonna have her move over to my place. But it, then you have his girlfriend, Jana, and she's like, oh, I'm in, in this building with technology. I gotta stay safe in here. And then there's this guy that Lex knows named Jake, and Jake is like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm in the disease land. And he meets up with this school teacher, and they're like, oh, we're in the most cliche, played out love story ever known to man. Lex meets up with this gawker looking ass guy, Leo Green. And then there's every episode that focuses on the both of them is the same. Lex tries to manage his duty and the truth, and Leo ain't having none of that shit. There's Lomers, who's just the CDC lady, and it just, it, there's... The, now, I'm bringing up a lot of these characters, and you're thinking, well, there's a lot of characters, a lot of variety. How can it, how can it get old? It gets old. It gets really old. You have the pregnant girl and her boyfriend. Uh, the pregnant girl's grandparents who are doing stuff on the side, I guess. It, get, it gets really played out. Just every episode, you're expecting the same things and it doesn't really break from the norm. I consider this series broken up into thirds and the first and second thirds are just not good at all, and they all suffer from the repetitive, episodic nature. What is most heinous in a show about horrible disease event, it doesn't show, it tells. For the most part, they're like, oh, they're, all these people are being killed by a disease. Take our word for it. You're not gonna be able to see it. Here's Jake and Katie being in love. Piece of shit. Another problem is that the dramatic irony from the first episode is just completely dropped. You don't get anything else like that for the rest of the series. You don't have any more time skips into the future or the past. It's just all played straight out. And since you know where things are going to be going, it's not as tense. Because you know that all these characters being in their dangerous situations are going to be just fine until the day they showed on the first episode. There is stuff that actually happens, but you don't really consider it the most important stuff because of how very little screen time it takes. There is the conspiracy behind the disease's origins. There is a very minor character who turns out to be immune to the disease. That's a big thing. It's like, it's a big thing. And in the very episode where they introduce that concept, it ends with Jake and Katie romantic bullshit. Which brings me into the second part, which is the middle part. The middle part is kind of more of a slog because it's more of the same, except the things that are different are glossed over. And it also has the worst episode in the series. 
I don't remember what the episodes are called, but there is one episode where it's in Jana's building, and the pregnant girl, her boyfriend, her, the pregnant girl's mom, not her grandmother, definitely not Nate, uh, Jake, Jana, all those people, they're trapped in the tech building, and there's a whole bunch of druggies who are trying to kill them, so they have to, like, do the most stupid action-y bullshit in order to kill all the druggies. Nothing of importance happens in it, this episode except for, like, the next episode. They're not in the tech building, but uh, <clears throat> they go back to the tech building anyways. It's around this point where the show starts to get close and even goes to day 13, which is where things completely turn around and actually start becoming good and interesting again. Because, you know, there's no dramatic irony, you don't know what's going to happen to the characters, and it becomes engaging. And when good things happen, it feels rewarding, and when bad things happen, it's actually devastating. This third act of the show has single hands down... That makes no sense. Hands down, the best episode of the series. It It's really emotional, and, like, what you expect from how the show went is just completely thrown out the window. It is ran over by the bus of crippling depression. It's beautiful. And then, like, all the weird conspiracy stuff becomes really engaging, and it all comes to a really solid ending. Like, one that can, like, be open for a second season, or, you know, just be left off where it is right now, and I think it, uh, with it not being picked up for another season, that that's just how you're gonna look at it. Overall, uh... In its current state, I wouldn't recommend watching Containment. It, it has a lot of rough patches, a lot of periods of just nothing. It would have been probably a lot better served as a movie, because there's just these huge stretches of nothing that just, they're just so predictable. It's frustrating to watch knowing that there is some good content in this show, but it, but you have to trudge through all this garbage to get to it. Two out of five.